Hello, my name is Lorraine. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a spring bow for an order from my Etsy shop. And I figured I would show you how I use my Easy Bow Maker. I have five, four different ribbons I'll be using, all wired. Some are from online. Uh, this one, I think, was from Joann's. Nice quality wired ribbons. I'm using my Easy Bow Maker, and I'm starting out by making five and a half loops on each side. I like the Easy Bow Maker because it has the ruler on it, as well as the fingers to hold my ribbon so that my hands don't get tired when making bows. I make a lot of bows and as they start getting larger, it's harder to hold without your fingers cramping. So I found this tool, fell in love with it, and I haven't looked back. I do have a few other bow makers, but I always come back to this one. So I've done two loops on each side, measuring out at five and a half inches. I've cut off the tails so that they're even in length. I'm dovetailing them so that you have a nice crisp sharp point. I'm going to be coming in with a second ribbon. This pretty sage green with a cream dot on it. These large bows are great to go on wreaths. That's mainly what I think my buyers um, buy them for, uh, but they also are great to go on lanterns, mailboxes, banisters, gifts, pretty much anywhere you can think of. So I'm coming in a little bit shorter at about five inches on this one. So the first one, the first layer I did was five and a half inches. This one is going to be about five inch loops. I only need one loop of the green. I'm going to measure out my tails, make sure that they're even. And then I'm going to dovetail it fold it over and cut it at an angle. Done with that one. The next one is this really pretty floral. Picks up the green. The pink complements it beautifully. I dovetail my ends. I add it to the finger. measuring out my tails. This loop, same thing, coming in just a little bit so that you're staggering your loops and then each ribbon underneath is still being seen. You still want to see that pattern, even though you're layering. This one, I'm gonna have two loops on each side. As you can see, and when I put it in, I'm twisting it so that the pattern side is showing up. If you don't twist it, you'll have the underside of the ribbon. So each time you put it in the finger, you're gonna, you're gonna twist it. Measuring up my tails, make sure that they're even. So I have two, one, two. I'm actually going to leave that there because we're going to use that one more time. I'm going to come in with this pretty sage with Swiss stock. I need one loop of this. So I put it in my in the finger, 
I twisted it. One loop, put it in my finger, twist it. Now my pattern is gonna be upright. Measuring up my tails. So I have two, one, two, one. Beautifully stacked. Now I'm gonna come in with a center loop. I always put a straight pin in my ribbons. That way they stay nice and neat. They don't unravel in storage. And I'm gonna come in with a final layer a center loop with this beautiful floral ribbon. Putting it into my fingers, twisting, making one small loop. Measuring up my tails. do is we're going to spread our ribbons out. We're going to do, I'm just going to move this in a little bit. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm doing one up, one down. One up, one down. One up, one down. And the ones that just have one just stay in the middle. Spreading out my ribbons, spreading out my loops, rounding them out. Now I'm going to come in with my 8 inch zip tie. I'm coming around the back underneath all of the layers. I'm going to bring it up the middle and I'm going to lock it in. Okay. I'm going to slowly pull up and up here I'm going to be pushing down as I'm pulling up on the zip tie so that it's locking in and it's holding all those layers in place. So now I can take it out. I'm going to slide the pipe cleaner to the back and I'm still pulling. Before I make it completely tight I'm going to put my pipe cleaner in there. I'm going to cinch it as hard as I can. These layers are not going anywhere now. Trim that off. I'm going to hold my two pipe cleaners like a little handle. And now I'm going to round out all my loops. Push my center over. I'm taking my tails from the underside, pulling down and smoothing out. All the way up in from the middle, pulling down and smoothing it out. On both sides. This one, the middle one, I'm gonna take it, do a quick twist and move it over because they were both on that one side. So now I have one on each side. Round out your loops. And there you have a big, beautiful bow. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video.